Okay, we're here with Lydia Trump at Rudy's Strudel Bakery. Everyone knows here in Parma, but it's it's more of a, it's not just a neighborhood place. It's locally, nationally, internationally known. I've seen you all over the world, TV and everything, and, and deservedly so. So it's yeah. worth a trip out here. Like I'm from the east side, and it's it's not that far. I mean, it's right under a road. You can't. The easy ways now. We're one mile very. south of 480, and as Mama said, just exit um, Ridge Road at 480. Just follow the aroma. So this is the time of year when you know my grandmother lived in Worli, what's now Slavic Village. My ah. dad grew up there just by Lansing in 71st. So we grew up with something called pierogi, and it, for us, it was just basically either sauerkraut, potato, or cheese. And you have pierogi. <laughs> oh, Tell us about pierogi. What it is, first of all, for people who don't know. Well, pierogi, but it's always exciting when somebody comes and like, I've never had a pierogi before. And a lot of times, if I have a second, I heat it up for them and pan fry it. Like, I want to be here while you have your first pierogi. <laughs> it's very, very important and special. Again, crosses over Eastern European borders in Poland, pierogi, um, in Ukrainian, pierogi or varenike. Um, and they came... Um, the, the funniest and most like organic way to produce strudel. Babsha Ola was in from Poland visiting um, our, our family for about six months and of course at Rudy's every day my bed was behind the oven. We were oh, at wow. the store and it was one evening um, that my grandmother was making progi and somebody had come in to get strudel and it was a gentleman um, and he said what's she doing there and my mom looks back like what? Oh, she's like oh she's making progi and she's like Oh my gosh, you make them? I'll take 10,000 for tomorrow. <laughs> and so that's like the, the beautiful organic story of it is that what we do here at Rudy's is just what we make ourselves at home. It's the same thing. It's, it's our greatest privilege and, and humbled beyond words that we're allowed to share dinner, lunch, and, and pastry with our community. So a pierogi, what is, is it? Uh... Oh, I mean, it's a we very it nice, a, yes, a, a lovely dough, a pinched perfectly. A mother of all pierogies is um, potato and cheese, I always say. And you have your plain potato and sauerkraut, sweet cottage cheese, lekvar, prune, um, cherry. It depends on what region of, of the country that you came from and what really flourished there. At Rudy's, we get a little sassy, um, and we made um, the, at the ballpark when the Indians were <laughs> now guardians, but it was the Indians then, when they went to the World Series. And then, um, what are some fun ones? <laughs> There's a, a spinach mozzarella is really neat. Uh, the Christmas story, meatloaf, meatloaf, double meatloaf pierogi, which is everything that Randy, our favorite picky eater, um, had in the, in the epic film. So there's a variety of pierogi that goes way beyond those old. You just can put anything potatoes. in there. Just make sure you roll your dough thin enough and pinch it small because you don't want just a whole lot of dough. It's all about the filling. That's the secret. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so let me tell you, back in uh, when the RNC was coming here and the Cavs parade and all that, we were speaking with our friend Dick Russ, who's half Ukrainian, yes. half Slovenian. You know Dick. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about, he said, when reporters come to a town, they're always looking for a you know, a quick story or a place to go or something or, you know, where do I get a good ice cream sundae or a cup of coffee or, or corned beef sandwich or, or pierogi. So we started this website, cleveland101.com, and we started putting those things out there for the reporters who were coming into town. But it became a destination for Clevelanders who didn't know about some of these things. So as we grew, we started asking our visitors what their favorites were in various categories. And COVID took us a little hit, but we're back here. So we asked our visitors on five different websites. ClevelandPeople.com, which is for the ethnic groups. ClevelandSeniors.com, which is for those 55 and over and those who care for and about them. ClevelandWomen.com, for women and girls of all ages. ClevelandCooks.com, which is for foodies and people who are into foods. And, of course, Cleveland101.com. And it came back that their favorite pierogi in town was here from Rudy's. Hey! Yay! And actually, so this is a, a repeat. We couldn't get out to you with COVID and various things before. But, so for 2023, let me give you your official plaque. I'm getting an award. I, I'm blushing. <laughs> so, you know that. so as we say, favorite is better than best. Best is someone is putting some criteria out there that maybe not everyone agree on. Some may say, oh, I like you Ukrainian pierogi or they do this or something. Or, But favorite is the people saying, yeah, this is what we like. This is what we want to have and we recommend to our visitors and our family and friends here. So 
congratulations Lydia and Rudy's for the uh, favorite pierogi in Cleveland. I can't 2023. This means more to me than you know because, as I said, um, the story of how the pierogi came and that's that's my, that's my babcha and mama. Uh, we were so, just making dinner. This is like to be favorite. It's hey, Bob, to the visa. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very easy to find Rudy's. It's worth the trip out here if you're not local. You know, if you're not uh, Parma or like we said, it's right right down the street off the freeway. You can get here fast and. Um, it's the busy season of pierogi. This is the best time. There's a lot of non-meat pierogies, so sure. as Lent is coming up, you can come and get uh, a variety of different pierogies. And your website, I know, lists all the different flavors and stuff. There's some funky flavors that you never grew up with, that's for sure. So we're glad to hit, be here. Always good to be here, Rudy's, and the people have spoken. You have the favorite pierogies Thank in Cleveland. Thank you so much. Jacoya and Jack Wheel. <laughs>